we also have the lepton, the electron, the muon, and the tau. They come with a set of matching neutrinos, the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. So each lepton has an associated neutrino, the electron neutrino, the mu neutrino, the tau neutrino, and each antiparticle has an associated anti-neutrino with the anti-electron neutrino, the anti-mu neutrino, and the anti-tau neutrino. Uh, the positron is the anti-electron, but it already had a name. I think it might have been named by Anderson, who discovered it. One number we use later is lepton number. All leptons have a lepton number of one. All anti-leptons, the stuff on the right side, have a lepton number of minus one. The particles in blue at the top should be familiar to anyone who has any experience of beta decay. Both beta plus and beta minus produce those blue particles at the top. Beta minus decay produces an electron and an antineutrino of the electron type. And beta plus decay produces a positron and the regular neutrino. And we see this pattern a lot in decays where the lepton from the left hand side combines with its corresponding uh, anti-neutrino from the other side and vice versa. So we see for example in beta decay as I said the electron produced with the anti-neutrino and the positron produced with the regular normal neutrino.